In this video, I'm going to explain what MCP is in under five minutes. So regardless of your background, this will make sense to you. I'm going to show you exactly how this has the potential to change the way we interact with our AI agents in the future so that we have an idea of what's coming next. All right, let's jump right in. So first, let's start with a quick history and then also a quick definition. And then I'm going to jump into our NADN workflow and I'm going to show you exactly what the difference is between how we're building AI agents currently versus how MCP can have the potential to change the way we interact with external resources in the future within our AI agents. So just quickly, MCP is not something new. This was actually released on November 25th of 2024, but recently it has picked up a lot of momentum. So that's why you're seeing it everywhere. But I'll put the link to this in the description so that way you can read it yourself but essentially a quick way to describe this a quick summary is that imagine if you're building a new gadget right so instead of designing a unique plug for every device that it connects to you essentially use a universal port just like a usb key and what this standard port does it, it simplifies your connections making your gadgets really compatible with various devices without the need to create custom connectors right so that's an, an, in a nutshell that's what this does it's a universal connector so similar in the ai context mcp serves as a universal connector for your AI applications that enables them to seamlessly interact with other external applications, other data sources, and other tools to give you the information that you're requesting for. So in a summary, again, it's just a universal connector. Think of it that way. If you can remember one thing, remember that it's a universal connector for your AI agents to connect to external application and data sources. That's literally as simple as it gets. All right, so that was a quick overview. Now let's head over to our NADN workflow and I'm gonna show you exactly how AI agents are built today that are connected to external resources versus how MCP could change this. So I'm gonna head over to my community here. I'm gonna go to the classroom section because I already did a video of this and step-by-step -step tutorial like that I walked through and um, provided how to connect these MCP servers. But this, I just want to use this to uh, show you exactly what the difference is. So I'm just going to download this. And then I'm also going to bring in my, uh, let's see. From here, I'm just going to bring in this calendar agent. All right, perfect. So let's take a look at I'm going to go here and import this. All right. So this is our, uh, the way we build agents right now, right? So this is again, part of the, another workflow that I created, but you can see this as a good example. So right now, if I want to reach out to these different external resources, just within the Google calendar, I have to create actually separate tools. So if I want to update an event, I need to create an update event tool. If I want to delete an event, I want to, I'm, I would have to create a delete event tool. So all of these are subsequent events. And on top of that, on the AI agent, inside the AI agent, I have to prompt it to tell it, hey, this you use this tool that you have an attachment to for this purpose. You use this one for this. You can see it's very manual, still a very manual process. So what MCP promises, so now if I head over to my local host just quickly, now if I import my MCP here, all right, so what this does is now you can see inside this fire crawl. So fire crawl is one of the scraping services, right? So this allows us to provide all the tools within this MCP and then execute based on the query that the user is providing. So let's take a look at this example, see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna say, what tools do you have access to, right? So if I enter, so now it's gonna go to the fire call list tools and it's gonna provide all of the tools that we have access to. So if I now maximize this, so here are the nine different or 10 different tools that I have access to through this fire crawl MCP server. Now, if I were to build this manually without MCP, I would have to create separate tools for each individual connection here, just like in our calendar agent that I'm creating this separate one, two, three, four, five connections, right? So for this one, I would have to create nine different connections. And because NADN, for example, doesn't have integration with Firecrawl, native integration with Firecrawl, I would have to use an HTTP request tool and reach out to each endpoint individually and set them up individually. So you would have like nine different tools just for this one Firecrawl, right? So that's what it's doing here. We're just going to use these two nodes. They're both MCP client nodes. And what it's doing is first, it's reaching out to all of the tools that it has access to. And then we can actually have the second execute tool that's going to 
use the proper tool inside this list tools mcp agent or mcp um tool and execute the correct tool based on the the, the person's queries so as you can imagine this has the potential to completely change the way we interact with the ai agents in the future because of the fact of how scalable scalable it is and how standardized it is for us to interact with our ai agents Again, this is still in a very early stages. So a word of caution is obviously we're not going to be using this for production right now just because of security reason and especially with NADN because it's a community node, then there's going to be a lot of times where this might not work at all, right? So at its, right now it's in its infancy. It has a lot of potential to change and scale AI agents in the future. But as of right now, this is just the beginning of this technology. And hopefully in the future, this can get better and better. And obviously I'll keep creating more content around this because I, like I said, have to see the potential for this to really change the way we interact with AI with AI tools and like I said earlier it will hopefully become an API for web the way API integrated or, or made it very possible for all of us to connect and communicate between different applications hopefully this is what MCP will do for AI agents anyways well this was a short video hopefully it made sense for you again if you want to watch the full tutorial I'll put the link in the description I created this step-by-step -step tutorial um, I believe it was this one I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, it was this one where I go through exactly show you how to add this um, MC, this MCP crawl or Firecrawl MCP and then also the Brave Search MCP and what are the different servers and everything else. So make sure you check that out. I'll put the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe because I've got a lot of great content coming that you don't want to miss. And again, if you're serious about learning AI agents and how to build amazing automations, make sure you join the school community. I will see you there hopefully. Thanks for watching again and see you next time.